Hi, it's Big Apple Airsoft here with another review on a gas blowback pistol. Today I have the WE M1911 MEU. The MEU basically means it's based off a military pistol that the military uses. First things first, this gun is a full metal pistol and has a back sided weight due to the magazine and just how it's built. This is actually good because the recoil recoil on this gun is actually uh, very strong, so the backsided weight kind of gives you a better grip of it, which I like a lot. The mag right here is a silver chrome mag and holds single stack 15 rounds. It is propelled by green gas, and as you can see, uh, green gas goes in here. The nozzle is actually pretty far down there, which uh, you have to buy an adapter for, which kind of, uh, they could have done better with that mag. We've gone to the grips. You have your plastic rubberized grips. They wrap all the way around to the other side and actually have the grip on the front side, which a lot of the uh, M1911s don't have. And some of you don't like this here, so you'd actually screw, you have screws here, you can take it off take an exacto knife and cut that part off. I wouldn't recommend using that, doing that because you could uh, do potential damage to this pistol. Also you have the Marine Corps logo on the grips. Uh, gives it a nice realism. Uh, moving up you have three safeties. One is the half cock. It does not let you shoot it when it is half cock. I like this one the best. It's probably the safest one. Then you have your ampidextrous safety right here goes up and you cannot shoot it even when holding the beaver tail safety now the beaver tail safety you have to be holding this down to shoot it so if it's not hold down you can't shoot it so you don't get a misfire if it's uh, just sitting there and it falls down I like the three safeties a lot on the 1911 I'm kinda of big on safety which uh that's one of my big things. I like being safe. I don't want to harm myself or others over some accident. You have your metal slide and you have your white dot sights. Not sure if you can see that. The white dot sights are uh, very good for acquiring targets. I like them a lot. Uh, I think any pistol you get should have the white dot sights unless if you're getting a pistol I don't know, maybe for a movie I don't know, depending on uh, what you're buying it for. Those of you who don't know what gas blowback is, every time you shoot the pistol, it comes back like that, and it has like a recoil, gives it a nice realism. Like I said, the kick on this gun is very good, and uh, very strong. To take apart this pistol, you actually slide the frame back, you line up the this notch with the little indents and let me get this for you and take this piece out take the mag out and this slides right off the reason why there's recoil is so strong on this gun is because this recoil spring is actually I think too big for this gun as you can see it kind of tilts to the side I actually don't like that I feel like uh, it could have done a better job with that I feel like it's going to break I really honestly hate that they did that with this gun uh, I would recommend buying another spring for it just because that will probably break because it's too big uh, to put it back you just line up the rails slide it back you take your piece that you took out before and you just push it back in you can put in your mag this gun has no rail on the bottom so you cannot attach a laser to it pretty sure they have railed versions I'm not 100% sure on that this gun shoots around 310, 320 FPS a very respectable amount for a CQB pistol and actually it's probably more ideal for CQB if you're using an outdoor pistol probably go with the CO2 
but uh, you can still use this in outdoors and get some performance out of it. What I like about this gun is I love the feel of the 1911. It's actually, uh, if you could see, thinner than like an average M9 or SIG or Glock, which I like a better. Uh, has a lo usually a longer barrel depending on what version you get of uh, another gun. I like that a lot. I just love the overall feel. One thing that actually, if you have small hands, is going to be a problem. Say you have to reload, so you take out your mag, just get a new one, you put it in, and actually, I'll show you, uh, the thumb, if your thumb isn't big enough, uh, you're not going to be able to hit this, and you actually would have to uh, kind of like tilt your hand, like shift it to the side a little, if your hands aren't big enough. My hands, uh, they're like an average size, so they're pretty good with this pistol. Uh, threaded barrel, counterclockwise, they give you a uh, threaded orange tip to it so you can attach a silencer to it. Uh, I would recommend leaving that orange tip on when you uh, carry this pistol around because as you can see this pistol actually looks like the real thing which is good but you also got to have cause for concern there because if you're carrying this pistol around in your back pocket and someone sees you, they're going to think this is a real pistol. Uh, that's just about it. This is Big Apple Airsoft here. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe, and we're out.